morning. How are you guys today? We've got uh, another exciting day in the life of Borderview Farms here today. We're gonna get this tractor all but wrapped up, basically everything but those last two tires. Um, yeah, that's the plan for this morning here. First thing, wax this back shield so that we can put it back on the tractor. And yes, I know this thing looks like crap. I know that it's all scuffed up, but guess what? You can't see it very good and there's a bunch of wire harnesses and stuff that fall on it that it's gonna get scuffed right back up. So that's why I'm not gonna take the time to do the buffing and all that and uh, ceramic coat. I'm just gonna put a coat of wax on it so it's protected and uh, shine it up a little bit and we're gonna put it back on the tractor. We're gonna let that uh, dry off a little bit. I already shot back the cab out, so really what I need to do is get some uh, towels and armor all, and we'll go start wiping stuff down in there. Washing windows. Well, I guess these cabs clean up pretty well. Got the floor clean at least. Looks good, so um, I've got that cover sitting over there on the bench. I wiped the wax off of that so we can put that back on and uh, then we can work around the outside of the cab washing windows and I gotta put that coating on the um, fenders there and I wanna do the windows after I wash them too. So this cover uh, goes on the back panel of the cab, covers up all these computers in there. It's a little bit tricky to get in because we've got to get it underneath these wiring harnesses that come out of the cab. However, this one's a lot easier than the uh, other tractor because the bolts come right through the face of it instead of being tucked in behind the fenders on the sides. All right, that's on. Uh, windows, now let's do this uh, fenders first. All right, so I need to wipe them down. I'm gonna use this stuff, uh, get them nice and clean, then we'll put our ceramic on those. All right, I got the coating put on this fender, but I did finally use up the bottle. So I got another one out, I'm gonna do the other side. I, If I wasn't gonna do the windshield and no wanted to do the windows, I probably wouldn't even do this other side. I would just wax it and compare them, but I wanna do the windows, so I just opened up my second bottle. No big deal. Okay, I have windows washed, and I'm working on putting on the ceramic on the windshield. I've got this half done. I'm actually gonna do just kinda of like a strip down the up and down the center of this window for a test to see. Uh, this will be the door side, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'll do the other side of the front windshield, and we'll call it good. Okay. While I am waiting for that stuff to dry just a little bit, or a minute or two here, I wanted to talk about what I'm gonna do next. <clears throat> so I know yesterday I told you that I was gonna leave those outside duels off and just let them change these tires tomorrow morning, get the new uh, inside ones on the front duels. Uh, I've changed my mind. I am actually going to take the new tires that are in the back and put those ones on there, because there's really only two bolts holding that tire on, so it doesn't take much to take this next tire off. Uh, then I can put the new ones on, put my spacers and stuff back on, mount the tire that needs changed yet on the outside so he can still get to it. And then uh, after he comes and changes tires tomorrow morning, we'll be done. I'll, I'll be able to take this tractor out of here if I want to, or at least I won't have anything more to do to it. So uh, just it'll make the process a little bit faster instead of having to put it all back together tomorrow after he changes tires. Plus, I think it'll be easier to change them tires when they're not sitting underneath those fenders. Um, so we'll get them out away from that and make the whole process just go a little bit smoother. So that's the plan. I knew that would happen. Find more dirt. That's okay. Uh, the other thing this does is really opens it up in here for me to uh, grease this ILS. So while we got the tires off, we're going to go ahead and do that. But I'm going to clean up this dirt a little bit. I know, I know you can't see it when the tires are on. I know it doesn't matter, it doesn't affect anything, but I just can't live with it. I'm picky like that. So I'm gonna clean it up, deal with it. All right, I believe there were 12 grease on this one side. 
that I got for the uh, ILS or independent link suspension is what it's called. Uh, it's worth it though because boy it sure improves the ride of the tractor and uh, helps make sure you don't get any power hop the tires stay on the ground. Uh, anyway, new tire going on there now. Okay, never mind, new plan. Apparently the hubs are a different diameter. I had no idea. The hole in the center of the rim is bigger on the inside tire than it is on the outside tire. The dish and the pattern all looks the same. Um, yeah, that's not going to work. I guess I'm not going to put those uh, tires on and have it all back together for tomorrow. So I guess I'll yeah put that one back where I found it, put this one back on, and we'll just wait. So now the question becomes, do I take the other side off? because I know there's dirt behind it, or do I leave it because I know I don't need to take it off? Decisions, decisions. I'm gonna leave it. But we are gonna grease this ILS up and do the three point while we're at it, so at least the greasing will be done on this tractor. Time for another new grease tube. All right, I am uh, done greasing on that tractor. Uh, Got the three point and that other ILS done. I had to uh, lower the uh, three point a little bit in order to get some of them bottom grease cirques on the pins. But this tractor especially gets used with the three point hitch a lot uh, in the spring because our planner uses it and then also uh, put our anhydrous on with a three point mounted toolbar. So uh, make sure that's greased up good is important. As I'm saying that, it occurs to me that some of you probably don't know what a three-point hitch is or what I mean by that. Uh, so if you look at the back end of a tractor, this down here is the drawbar. This is how most of your implements, especially tillage and uh, wagons, stuff like that, is going to hook up to that tractor. Uh, it'll have a tongue on it that comes in here. We put the pin down through them, and they're attached that way. Sometimes implements will have two si a top and a bottom, a clevis, uh, in which case we'll take the top off of this because you only want there to be a, a top and bottom clevis or a hammer strap or whatever you want to call it but you only want that on one side one either the tongue or the, or the implement or the tractor has to be a single lip and then the other one has to be double so that you have a good connection anyway moving on uh three point hitch is what we call this other uh, attachment point on the back of the tractor uh, this actually has a quick hitch on it so basically our implements will have a a, a pin that'll go in here one that will go on the other side and then a top one that fits in here and it lifts it up and down based from that. That's why it's called three-point hitch. One, two, three, right? Uh, on the planters, it's actually what we call a two-point hitch, so it uses these two bottom pegs, but not the top one. So either way, that moves up and down with uh, these big hydraulic cylinders to put the implement either up and down in the ground or in the case of the planters to lower and raise the tongue to level the planter units. So um, that's what I'm referring to by three point hitch in case you were wondering. Okay, it is almost lunchtime. Um, our, one of our other chemical salesmen that we were waiting on a quote from is on his way out here. So I'm gonna deal with him and then go to lunch and I'll see you guys after lunch. Okay, I am back from lunch, a rather extended lunch. Uh, it's after three already. Uh, but I stopped in at the John Deere dealer up there. I checked on our combine, which they've got in the shop and all tore apart right now. I uh, hadn't quite gotten to the head uh, gasket issue yet, but uh, they're getting there. Um, and I uh, got a, a couple other little parts and stuff that I needed. But my plan for the rest of today, change oil in my pickup. Uh, yeah, I apparently I just change all all the oil and everything in January here. So. Anyway, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do here. This uh, oil drain plug is substantially more difficult to get to than uh, on the tractors. Plus that muffler right above my head, she's hot. All right, got it. Oh, man. Oh, my poor truck. So disheartening, guys. This truck's what? Seven, eight years old is all? I guess it's eight years old now. But still, that is crap. Look at that. 
Okay, uh, I'm gonna let the oil drain on my truck. I topped off the washer fluid. And look, I got a package while I was gone for lunch. And this is mostly for your benefit. New GoPro batteries because the ones that I had are three, four years old and uh, don't last very long. So that'll be good for longer time lapse and other videos, or at least ability to film more stuff. And the other thing is this new magnetic mount with a phone holder so I can use my phone to video stuff, which is much more convenient than the GoPro and better quality, uh, but also will attach my GoPro camera to it. So I already have a magnetic mount, but it's a homemade one that I use for the GoPro. This one has a little bit more adjustability in it and yeah, should be good. So you'll probably never see this in a video again, but I'll use it to make videos. So kind of cool, good stuff to have. So the only thing that I have left to do to this tractor, other than these front tires, which I are, they're coming tomorrow, uh, is spray down the fenders and plastic and black stuff with some tire foam. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then it'll be nice and pretty and shiny. So if you didn't see my video on the 8430 where I used this stuff, or I, I used something similar to this, different brand basically, um, but I really like this tire foam on all the plastic pieces on these tractors because it kind of helps clean the dirt off of them. But it also makes them really nice and shiny, and I think it helps protect them from UV light and stuff like that. Uh, the one problem with it is that it makes them sort of sticky. So when we get this stuff out in the spring and go to the field with it, they will get really, really dusty. But we'll just wash them down with a hose, or if they get rained on or something, that stickiness goes away along with all the dust that is stuck to them. And they get nice uh, protection to them. They seem to stay pretty clean after that. So I like this stuff. I know it's not what it's used for, but it works pretty good. And it smells good. All right, we'll just let that stuff run off and dry and it will be good. All right, oil is drained. And I got some new oil going in. Okay, I'm done changing oil in my truck here. Um, tractor is also done, everything except for these tires. So it looks pretty good, I'm happy with it. Um, that's all for today. Uh, I did spend a little bit of time working in the office here. Uh, we've just about got all our chemical quotes uh, wrapped up. I'm waiting on a couple of products from one guy yet. And uh, then we'll be making our chemical decisions here probably later this week. Also fertilizer, I've been working on that or right along with it, uh, mostly our starter and uh, the 28 that we're gonna need to put on our wheat this spring. So uh, we're getting that stuff locked in as well. Uh, tomorrow tires are coming first thing in the morning and then we're gonna do a little tractor shuffle in and we'll see we may end up with another tractor in the shop by the end of the day, uh, kind of our next project. Uh, other than that, I really uh, will make a plan tomorrow because that's what we do. So uh, have a good night, guys. Hope you're still enjoying the videos. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. As per usual, find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter if you really want to. And uh, have a good night. We'll talk to you tomorrow.